Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday. And thank you guys for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel we'll be looking at the next figure in Wave 9 in Origins. And that is Mantena, the evil spy with the pop-out eyes. And here he is. Of course he's part of the evil horde. You have that amazing Master Universe logo blasting from the Red Rocks that we all know and love from that vintage feel back in the 80s. Of course, it does say the eyes really pop out. And we have the 40th anniversary sticker in the top left corner. All right, we'll flip it around to the back. With absolutely amazing artwork, gorgeous artwork, of course, as always. You have Hordak and, and Harry He Man or Grizzlor watching over Mantena taking out Tongue Lasher and Rattler with his eyes. And you got King Hiss right there as well, watching over. Where you can, you know, you know what button you have to right there to pop out the eyes right there. Of course, his articulation comes with his crossbow. And, of course, all the figures in Wave 9. And I have done reviews and looked at the 2000X version of He-Man and the 2000X version of Skeletor on my channel. If you wish to go back and watch, please do. And, of course, tomorrow we'll be looking at the final figure of Pighead on, our, on, the, on, my, on the channel. All right, one more shot of the uh, gorgeous artwork. One more time. All right. We'll flip it around, back around to the front again. Of course, with all new waves, comes with a new comic book. And here's the comic book. I'll do a quick, you know, brief, you know, skim through it right here again. An absolutely amazing read. Beautiful illustrations and stuff like that. And of course, the cross sell of all the figures in Wave 9. Okay. And I do have a loose version of Mantena in my collection. And here he is right there. Has that same look as the vintage, you know, Mantena. There's some slight differences, you know, and I'll point them out. The biggest one is that the 85 version, the, you know, the original version, his skin tone was blue, and this one is black. So maybe we'll get a, a blue variant of Mantena at some point, maybe. You know, an exclusive, probably, perhaps. And there is the function, and there's his eyes popping out. Where in the 85 version, or the vintage line, his his button was on his back right here. Okay, and I have that right here. In, in, in. So there is the 85 version. Where you can see his, his button is on his back. Where the origins line, it's on his, you know, on his head, the back of his head. So, he, so there you go. There's a look at him in, in, in the '85 version, the the classics line or the vintage line. I'm gonna thank Pixel Dan and, of course, Dark Horse Comics for this amazing book. And before they, you know, went with the name Antenna, there was a couple names that were going to, they were throwing around for him. One was Sensor and Radar before, you know, he became Mantena. Okay. And he was released in 1985 as the part of the Evil Ward. There you go. All right. All right back to the Origins one. But yeah, and... You know, it functions like, like any other, like, uh, Origins figure. You can pop the head off if you wish. Right there, you can pop it off. 
And you can pop the arms off too. You can pop them back on. You can pop from, from the waist as well. And you can pop it back on. And so for, for some fun, I'm going to put on another head on. I got my, my steak uh, trooper right here. I'm going to pop the head off. Let's see if this works. So there you go. There is a, a you can make your own figures if you want, guys. It's one you know one thing I love about Origins, like I you know, is that you can just create your own figures, your own world of Master Universe. You know, I'm going to try like popping off, take the head off real fast. And taking this this part off real fast. Hang on, check it out. See if we can, you know, can we, we can put this body on the uh, snake trooper body. You know, we put Mantana's like head on there. Does that work? No, unfortunately, the the head for Mantana is a little bit bigger than you know the snake trooper uh, body armor but, but we can put this his snake face you know you know the snake thing back on so there you go let's see what, what happens if we take his lower half the snake troopers lower half and put you know Mantana's top part on with Mantana's, you know. So there you go. There you got a two legged Mantana right here with the eyes popping out. So I'm so happy they kept the function of you know, Mantana. So there you go. There's. I think that's really cool, guys. And it's very easy to put back together. You know? Takes, you know, a few seconds just to pop, you know, one part off to another one. Like that. Boom. Put Mantana back as he, you know, normally is. Boom. And there you go. You're back to normal. You know, no problems, no fuss, and stuff like that. So, an absolutely really cool character. Another member of the Horde. We've been getting quite a few members of the Horde in the Origins line. And, you know, we're not done yet. We, we have Leech coming, and he was part of the, the this wave as one of the deluxe figures. Hopefully, we'll be getting some Princess of Power figures to go along with the Horde figures and stuff like that. Only time will tell. And there you go. There's the Snake Trooper back to normal, you know. Pretty, very easy, pretty cool. So there you go, guys. Here's a quick look at Mantena from the Evil Horde. I wish there was a way we can like lock the eyes into place. I think you can. I think if you very carefully, if you they may pull the eye out. Well, just be careful. You know, I wouldn't do that. I would not recommend that, guys. But I just, I just wish there was a way to lock the eyes into place. You know, like you can press down twice maybe and the eyes will stay popped out. You know, give it that more, you know, action look. You can keep, you know, for your collection. But still really cool. But there he is. And I hope we get that, that blue skin variant or normal version of him. You can move the head around, you can twist the body, you can move the legs, and stuff like that. So pretty cool. And all the Horde come with their own particular crossbow as well. Alright, so there you go. And one more shot of Mantena. Alright guys, I'm going to take the time out to thank all my subscribers. 
Have you made it this far in, in the video and you haven't subscribed? Please subscribe, guys. Um, I love talking with you guys, you know, about Master Universe from Origins to Masterverse and CGI. Hit that thumbs up button, guys, please. It would mean a lot. And hit that notification bell when you know when I upload new videos. And tomorrow I'll be uploading the final single carded figure in Wave 9, which is Pighead, the... I, in my opinion, the, the worst bad guy out there, and because he has no other followers, you know, he doesn't have, you know, you know, other people to help him out to rule the, you know, Eternia, or, or you know, he's just, he's, he's alone, you know, he's the only bad guy in the Sunman line, you know, whereas, you know, Skeletor has his minions, you know, Hordax got his, and even King Hess, and stuff like that, so he's the only bad guy in the Sunman line, so he's got to be the absolute worst out of the whole, like, out of all of them. So, we'll be looking at him tomorrow. I cannot wait. So, guys, I hope you guys have a great Thursday. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Take care, guys.